everyone and welcome back to another episode of Vampire. I've made all the stuff I need to make for everyone, so I'm gonna go around and cure people. I guess starting with the docks. Rodney Raider. I'll cut this all out. I don't really need to show that I'm healing people. I'll show you guys after I'm done. Uh, but once we're done, I'll be at Lady Ashbury's place unless something happens uh, betwixt me running around doing all this, so I will see you guys then. Alright, I believe we've cured everyone. Just triple checking. Alright, let's go talk to Lady Ashbury. Oh. I guess after we kill some people, I'm assuming the Doris thing will be a fight. I also took the liberty to upgrade some of my weapons. I upgraded that shotgun I found. Um, upgraded that uh, perfect pump shotgun action and I was gonna put on the Charlotte stake even though it does less stun. I wanted to use it. It's a leech! Kill it! Oh no! Kill it! Oh my god. I just sucked all his blood out. Oh, hi. Stupid. We're just gonna go to Lady Ashbury's estate. She apparently has something to say to us. And I wanna hear what she has to say. Maybe she has some insight on Dorius Fletcher. Madame. Oh, is she up? Upstairs. My lady. Hello. Good evening, Jonathan. How are you? I'm still investigating from inside the Ascalon Club. Can we talk? Of course, my dear. Of course. There are many paintings adorning the walls here. Yes. Did you paint them? No, my dear. But some of them. I have had a long time to learn from the best. I'm currently working on what could be my greatest masterpiece. What is this masterpiece? Your portrait, my yeah, dear she Jonathan. Is. It'll be my gift to you if I ever have time to finish it. Oh. Have you met any famous painters? Are you trying to divine my age by cross-checking historical dates, my dear? That's a devious part. Well, Elizabeth, I've tried my best. Don't I deserve some reward at least? Well, if you must know, I even posed for the greats. Now that you know it, you may recognize me when visiting museums. Whoa. How is your investigation going? I have decided to explore beyond the dictates of reason. What do you mean? You may on occasion find this house closed when you visit me. If so, it is because I have gone undercover. Sort of. Sort of. Who are you going to surveil? I hope you're not considering spying on McCullum or the guard of Prewen. No. I intend to ask a few questions in parts of town I rarely venture into. Dirty places where a delicate lady like myself should never be seen. Oh. When will you return? As soon as possible. And I don't intend to stay away for long. She's leaving. I have investigated new sources of infection. And I may have found a new type of scowl. One suffering from heavy mutations that is extremely contagious. Scowls come in various forms, you know. They are simply degenerate versions of their makers. I believe these families are different, and I'm currently pursuing a lead. I know I can find the true source of contagion by finding who created these creatures. That would be great news. 
Be very careful, my dear, when dealing with such creatures. All Goodbye, right. Goodbye, my dearest. Goodbye, my beloved. Beloved and dearest. Oh my god. They're so cute. I can't. I'm a romantic at heart. I can't help it. <laughs> All right, let's go. I guess we're going to fight Doris. Is she the cause of the infection, though? How could she have infected Harriet Jones, though? Or are we just thinking that she's the cause of the infection in general? The skull infection? Either way, it seems very damning that Doris has something to do with this. I saw a poster of hers. I don't know if I showed it on video, but I did see a poster of Doris. She's, um... Oh. I mean, obviously we found out that she's a very famous actress. <laughs> Didn't even stand a chance. Oh, 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 what's happening with him? I thought he was gonna explode. He was shaking around like that. Okay. The Finsbury Theater. Find an access to the theater, not just the front doors. It's locked, all right. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> Hi. Hi. That leech is forced. That leech, oh, he's dead. That leech is forced. wasn't coming towards me. I had to take care of it. Going the wrong way. Yeah, it looks like we may need to go over. Ugh, why does it stick to it? Oh. oh, okay, whatever. As long as it doesn't crash my game, I'll be okay. I wonder if it's up. Or in the sewers? Wasn't there a sewer axis over here? Come in. I want to fight this dude. Get it with <laughs> Shut up. You're annoying. You just piss me off more than anything. More than anything. <laughs> I think there is a sewer entrance. Through here? Oh, no, no, no. We've been here before. <gasps> Oh, I wonder if we can do this now. Ooh. There's an open window on the second floor. I should be able to get in through that. How shady of us. All right, here we go. Here we go. And we didn't need permission to go in, so there's definitely something afoot. Suicide no, I can't stand the pain anymore. It's like my entire body is breaking apart since that bitch infected me. For days now she keeps hiding her room, giving orders through her little written notes, and only rehearsing at night. I witness one of her so-called rehearsals. She walks on stage, angry and hateful, spitting and whining about her fading beauty. The bitch is infected, rotten to the core, and she plans to infect everyone in this place. And then everyone in London. Her next plan wait, her next play is not before December and an 
and at this time, all the theater's employees will be her obedient minions. Forced to serve her evil machinations, I'm sure she's found a way to corrupt our food or the water since we all started to get ill and change after the meal she arranged for us last Monday. I want whoever finds this note to know that I, that I only killed myself to escape the living hell that this place has become. May God have mercy on me and my immortal soul since I refuse to be an accomplice to this devilry. Who is this? They didn't sign it. That's fucked up. And then they left their door open. Uh oh, I'm walking. Woe to you, nations of hypocrites. For in front of you stands the tall queen. You can but lower your head. Fit only to smirk at her soiled feet. Whoa. Can that be Doris Fletcher's voice? Where does it come from? Uh oh. Hi. You don't even have a name. Nothing to loot in here. Old Doris Fletcher's diary. I saw her in the flesh, the witch from my childhood nightmares, the bitch that tortured me for years. I saw her and I shivered. Her voice, her face, I knew she was in that hospital. I knew she was sick and I wanted to witness her suffering. Harriet Jones? I may have reinvented myself, become a famous actress, erased those wicked years from my memory. I can't forget I'm her daughter. When I saw her frail body in that small bed, suffering, sick, defeated, I had to hide my tears for her. She was looking at me. She recognized me. She saw the hate in my eyes, and she smiled. My pale corpse of a mother. And the worst thing was, I felt no satisfaction seeing her in so much pain. The worst was not to suddenly remember the beatings and the abuse. No, the worst was to recognize the hate I felt in my heart when she looked at me. For it was the same hate I saw in hers. For in the end, I can't escape being her daughter. We are the same, my mother and I. Is she talking about Harriet Jones? I don't know. Oh. Is this not? <gasps> This place looks fucked up. And many can testify to her kindness and beauty. For now she hides in shadow, ugly as sin. But when you burn and die. Interesting. Oh, this place looks really fucked up. Like, oh, what happened to the walls? to go? That's where we probably need to go. I just want to look around. God, there's so many places to go. It's locked. Like, why can't I go down here? What? What is this area? <gasps> oh, this was the right Why? way to go. You who dared enter my realm, are you here to worship or mock me? I'm oh. here to put an end to the vampire epidemic, Miss Fletcher. She looks messed up. Ah. But Doris oh. Fletcher is no more. She was consumed by this putrid flesh that now enshrouds her. You feel anger for what happened to you. But I can help you. I'm a doctor, Miss Fletcher. Do 
Boris Fletcher is no more. All that remains are the dreams of the queen she was and the queen she'll be. She looks fucked up. Till then, all shall die. For that was her final wish. My blood, my children, my beloved, die for the love of me. I'm scared. to my stamina. of mine does your heart beat a little faster now you fancy me then doctor what no miss fletcher my dead heart will beat for only one ah! is she pretty is she sweet and tender to me yes jesus what the hell i hate her already I know. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. But you just said... That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. <gasps> um... Will I be remembered? of her generation. No one can take that from you. Thank you. Is she gonna burn herself? And farewell. I 
actually kind of sad. Oh god. So dramatic. McCollum. I love it. McCollum. How the fuck are you here? I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that skull and Cuz I'm doing the same thing. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the puzzle together, I'm sure we'll have a little chat. Um Stay away from me, McCollum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. You will? I thought I was going to fight him. I should probably leave the theater right now. But the notebook. It's locked, all right. Damn. The West End should be safe now. But London is not. It would be wise to benefit from the Ascalon's protection while I continue my research during the Great Hunt. I'm surprised he let us go. I think I missed my chance to get the notebook, unless this is it? New Doris Fletcher's diary. Soon I'll be on the stage again, for my rehearsals are almost over. My minions are gathered around me, ready to follow my every command. Soon my audience will return ready to applaud my art. The young, the gorgeous, my healthy audience will return to their families, their beautiful houses, and happy lives, delighted by my performance. Shocked by my disguise, touched by my grace, my infectious legacy, they'll spread the disease one by one and they'll turn. And I'll be their beloved queen again, and they'll never forget me. And I shall have my revenge on the dirty trick fate played on me. But who changed her? Who changed Doris? Was she the famished queen or whatever the hell our make maker told us? Oh, she also dropped a weapon. Ooh. I wanna, I'm gonna use that maybe. Okay, I guess we're leaving. I, I, I wonder if I missed my uh, chance to get the notebook or we're going to come back here to deal with that. Return at a more convenient time. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Is something going to happen as we try to leave? Um, I feel like I missed my chance. So Doris just needed to be close to her audience to infect them. Contagion through skin. Very disturbing. Chapter five. Oh shit. Oh shit. We're on chapter five. I don't know how many chapters there are. How do I get this? I kind of want to look it up. I hope I didn't miss my chance. <gasps> Swansea has something. Hold on, let me look up about this Pandora's box thing real quick. I know McCollum just took over the theater. Maybe it has something to do with that. I should learn to trust <laughs> when um, certain we can't do certain side quests yet. Because it always tells me, just progress the story. And I never remember to think about that. So we just need to progress the story first. I didn't spoil myself. It just said, hey, wait till later in the game. I'm like, okay, let's go talk to Swansea real quick. And then we'll report into the Ascalon Club. I'm back to talk to you. What news, Jonathan? I've heard you've now joined the vampire elite of London. Did Elizabeth tell you? So it's Elizabeth now. Oh. My, my. Things are moving quickly. I turn my back for a moment and away you go. I mean, we are our own people. I don't need your permission, do I? I may have found the source of the contagion. Doris Fletcher, the actress. Thankfully, in the end, she was destroyed by fire. Really? Oh, please, do tell me more. Doris was a heavily mutated skull, almost a new breed entirely. It's as if the disease had completely altered her mind and body. Highly contagious. As if the disease had taken control of her will? Yes. Once a beautiful and brilliant woman, 
She became motivated by hate alone. Oh, she was a beauty. I met her when she visited the hospital to cheer up the sick. Cheer up the sick. The fire destroyed her. But it was probably for the best. Too bad the fire destroyed her. Sir, she was mad. She was going to infect everyone that joined her show. See, he makes little comments like that and it makes me think, do you not understand how dire it was? And also she visited the hospital. I wonder if Harriet Jones is her mother. They don't have the same last name, but maybe Doris Fletcher was her just her stage name. I wonder if she got infected by Harriet Jones. Have you heard of similar cases? No, I don't think so. Except perhaps it reminds me of an old report from the Brotherhood. Well, more an article, really. What was it about? The author, a friar, referred to a rare form of contagion in a skull he observed during the Black Death. The Black Death. The carrier was always female. Yeah, I noticed that too. Icors. Icors. Have you seen Lady Ashbury recently? Yes, she popped in yesterday. Told me about your new friends in the West End. Just a courtesy visit then? Yes. And no. She was en route to the docks, I think, following a lead concerning your maker. Ooh, okay. How's the situation at the Pembroke? We're still holding out. Question is, for how long? What we really need is hope, Jonathan. Hope for a better tomorrow. Okay. I'll come back later. Thank you, Edgar. Always a pleasure to see you, my friend. I wonder if I missed a... Uh a place to get his hints. I feel like I missed a chance to get this first hint. Not that I know for sure. I also need Aloise's uh, hints. I don't know how to get them. Maybe after we report to the Brotherhood, we can start asking people about Aloise. I don't know. But that is our next goal, is to head on over to... Do you see that? Game just fucking crashed. Fuck. Okay, I guess I got I got transported here, but it seems like we've already talked to Swansea. That was strange. I don't know why the game keeps crashing when I click on uh, an objective just to look at it. Anyway, we're going back to a report in to the Asklin Club. They still haven't cleaned up. Interesting. And you have a name, but you don't matter. Always a pleasure to see you, sir. Okay. <gasps> what? Elizabeth is here? Why is she here? Hello? What's she Elizabeth, doing? Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. Oh. After all. Isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these <laughs> hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make <laughs> me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. Okay. I have a boat ready to go whenever I want. These hunters won't catch me. The hunters won't catch you. She's wearing pants. I don't know if she's always been wearing pants. I think we're safe for now. I pursued and killed the last hunter with my own hands as he tried to escape the club. Perhaps we should change some of the club's rules if we survive all of this. I agree. We need to soften some of our laws. Oh. Concerning redheads. The hell does that mean? Don't be... Hey, back off, dude. Whatever you're doing, don't think that. Eloise is in here. Aloysius. How do you say his name? I keep saying Aloise for some reason. 
Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please tell Lance us the good Bearer. news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis yep. was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. I don't like how you said that. You thrust your lance. <laughs> don't say that to me. I'm just a doctor. Some questions do remain. Who infected her? But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another I bet you do. for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? No. Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. No. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson Aloysius. the Econ he deserves to be. No. What? Why can't you do it? You want to use my blood? I'm not sure I'm the best candidate for such a task. I can hear the hesitation in your voice, Dr. Reed. I admire a man of principles. But in this matter, there is more at stake than your moral comfort. It's not a moral question, Lord Redgrave. It's the responsibility of giving immortality to a man I barely know. Nonsense. Aloysius has been a member of the Ascalon for years. I don't know him. This is but the fruition of a long-held plan. How would you like me to proceed? Why Aloysius can't you do it? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Why can't you do it? Why do I have to do it? Before I go, I have a few questions. All right, I'm listening. None he'll answer straight. Why Aloysius Dawson? Because he is about to die. And he just may be the most influential man in England. After me, of course. Did he choose me? No, I did. My decision is very recent, to say the least, but it is entirely mine. I don't like this. Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Dr. Reed. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is. Through yeah, your exactly. They just want to use me. They just want to use me. I don't like that. How would you like me to proceed? Don't worry. Aloysius has had many years to prepare himself. He has studied our kind for decades. So shall I just let him drink my blood? Yes. Aloysius will gratefully sup on your blood. His heart will slow, then stop. But he will rise again as one of us. How do you more. know? How do you know that he won't just gurgle and choke on it? Is there any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They die. Exactly. Good. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself for a long time. How do you prepare for that? You invited Lady Ashbury. Wouldn't that be breaking one of your cardinal rules? No women allowed. Not allowed as members, no. But considering the circumstances, I thought you'd like to have her here to witness your triumph. So it's a temporary admittance, then. Something of a bargain, considering the crisis we're currently facing. I don't like you. Goodbye. I don't want to change Aloysius. Oh. I don't want to do any of that. Maybe I don't have to. I probably need to get his hints, though, before we go over. I also have the key to the basement. That I picked up in here. Lord Redgrave is outside almost every night coordinating our defenses. I have not seen him outside once, sir. Such an example. What are you on about? How many of you have he uh, changed? Uh, Lady a Elizabeth. Are you all right? Jonathan? No. Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson to make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? 
I liked your advice. I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this Exactly, why do I have do to do it? Do you it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? Yes. I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like soulless. Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating oh. skulls. Oh. oh! He can only create skulls? Please tell me more about your recent investigation. That's hilarious. As long as you lower your voice. I don't think we should talk here. I don't think we should talk here. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William I don't Marshall, believe that. who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls if the poor soul survive at all. Damn. How can you be sure the information is correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. Good for her. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. What do you mean? Of course, the man in charge lies about his actual heritage. And she should feel uh, proud about that. He has ostracized her from the club. Women, all vampire women. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans yeah, to build a wall to separate that. the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Do not make him your progeny. You're... What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. I'm with her. She's preaching to the choir. I'm on her side. What would happen if I made Dawson an echo? Awful like things. You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. No. Lead him down the right path. No. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. Exactly. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. Goodbye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please, be careful. I think we're gonna have to make talk to some people. Where's that go? Where does this go? <gasps> to the basement. What's in their basement? The recreational use of blood. As Ascalon members, we always tend to respect etiquette. We are in all ways members of the good society, sometimes recognized as public figures. We do not find our delight in orgies and bloodbath, like our adversaries assert, assess, assert we do. And if one of us were caught in such cars, cari curated, yep, an immoral act, he would receive the appropriate opprobrium. But what about the blood? What about its recreational use? How can we deny the ecstasy the vermilion ambrosia brings us? And with what else could we toast with as any good fraternity should? To answer this delicate question, the law of conduct inside the club goes as follow. As long as the original mortal vessel is not brought inside our walls, each member is allowed to drink whatever he wants, for his own usage or to share it with the friends. Drink what you want, deal the way you want with the original vessel, but never inside the club. Unless I personally authorize it on some special occasion, of course. 
Wonderful. I'm glad um, he decides everything. Why am I in here? <laughs> Why am I? There was nothing in here but like a note. Um, yeah, what if? I mean, how can we tell who's a vampire and who's not? What if... This is just a theory, and I don't know if it's true. What if Redgrave was a skull himself, and dr he drunk the blood of the knight, and he became a... a intelligent skull, less mad and all that. Like how old Bridget is. What if he's just masquerading as a vampire? How can we know? I don't know. Silly little thought. I don't know if it's true or not. Okay, I I'm not going to do that. So it looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. I'm gonna talk to people. I'm gonna talk to people and try to get hints on this fucker. I don't want to sire him. There's always other options. Uh, Elizabeth wants us to kill him. Or let him die? I I'm agreeing with her. I don't want to do this shit. Why are they making me do this? Because he can't, apparently. And our blood is strong. Hello, Clarence. I think with that, I'm gonna bring this episode to a close. Uh, we're gonna talk to everyone here, see if we can, like, get some hints. And we're also gonna ignore this and go talk to people here as well. I wanna make sure I get all the hints for him, because we haven't got a single hint for him. We're gonna do some information, some investigating on this dude. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.